That's just a perfect pass from Crowder. Absolutely perfect. And just to reiterate, there are people in here saying that's goaltending. No, that's a live basketball. Hey everyone, Sneer Moore, culinary specialist at Cisco, Arizona. And today I want to talk about that one ingredient that is the most common ingredient in each and every restaurant. I don't care which segment you are, you can be classic American, you can be Chinese, Mexican, French, all of them have this sodium chloride, also known as salt. One of the most common questions that I'm always being asked is what is the difference between sea salt and kosher salt? And every time I'm hearing that question, my brain is going through this mental cringe because there's actually no connection between the two. Why is there no connection between the two? Because when we're talking about salt, we need to separate it into two different things. The first one is where did the salt come from? The second one is what is the form of that salt? So when we're talking about the form of the salt, it can come in lots of different variations. The most common one is our table salt. It will be the most refined, the tiny grains, and from there on, we'll talk about the kosher salt. We can talk about the flow of the cell. We can talk about salt, which has really large crystals to it. So on a side note, kosher salt is called kosher because it was used in kosher butchery before it was even called kosher salt. In traditional kosher butchery, there's lots of rules and laws, so from the way that they butcher the cow to the fact that they can only eat the front end of the cow, to the fact that they actually have to draw all the blood out of the cuts of meat. And that was being done using salt. And what makes kosher salt so significantly good, better to do that is that the flakes of the salt are flatter. And because they're flat, they have more surface tension, which means that they can draw the blood better out of those cuts of meat. So, that, that salt that was being used for kosher butchery became known as your kosher salt. So we have established that salt is being used everywhere. We have established that salt really doesn't differ from one another in flavor. All that is good news because it means that all of your accounts are using salt. And if you have accounts that are using one of our competitors, Diamond Crystal or Morton, there shouldn't be a reason why you cannot give them the nudge and start using the Cisco Classic brand, especially when it is cheaper. The only pushback that you are going to get is about the feel of the salt. What do I mean about the feel? This salt is normally being used on the cooking line, where the, where the chefs will actually hold the salt with their fingers, season protein, season their meat, season salt, season the french fries, season whatever they want to season, and they like to feel the flakiness of the grains in their fingers. And the way that the salt leaves their fingers actually makes an impression on them. And if, and if they use to a certain type of salt, a certain feel of salt, they sometimes have a hard time moving to a different salt. So what can you do? You can bring a sample. You can pour both samples into a plate. And you need to take a closer look at it. So let's do that. Comparing these three salts, I'm going to start with my least favorite. And that is the Morton. What I did not like about the Morton was that the filling was not like that of a kosher salt. The grains felt a lot more like rock salt, meaning that they were shaped a lot like, a, like little pyramids. And they also took the longest to get absorbed in the proteins once you sprinkle them on it. A fact which I think may be a, uh, an issue, especially on cooking lines. So knocking off the modern, really what we're talking about is the competition between the Diamond Crystal and our Cisco Classic. Between the two of them, looking at the grains, the Diamond Crystal had a finer grain. The Cisco Classic was even flakier. Large flakes, small flakes, all of them mixed together. But for me, it was a higher grade than the Diamond Crystal because the larger the, the, larger the grains, the higher the grade of the salt for me. So really considering the fact that the Diamond Crystal is significantly more expensive than the Cisco Classic, there shouldn't be any reason why any one of our accounts should not have one of these boxes inside their kitchen. This is Smear Moore, Culinary Specialist at Cisco Arizona. Thank you. 
that's just a perfect pass for Crowder. Absolutely perfect. And just to reiterate, there's people in here saying that's goaltending. No, that's a live basketball.